hello hello today i'm going to talk to you about your inventory storage systems and give you some other helpful tips along the way so let's get to it everyone hope you're doing well i'm cindy kraus with kraus house sift and thrift if you're new to my channel if you're returning thank you so much for coming back and if you're new i hope you watch to the end and you will get some helpful information today i thought i would talk to you about storage systems whether you sell on ebay or another platform you need a way to store and identify your inventory that's very important and a lot of resellers have different methods to do this. I'm gonna go over a few of them today. Of course, you find what works for you. So what I'll be doing today is kind of taking you around and showing what my current inventory system is and how it works for me. And hopefully I'll give you guys some ideas. And um, I also wanted to talk about today is President's Day. And I was telling John this morning, I really don't like holidays anymore. I used to like them when I worked a full-time job and you'd have the day off. But now that I'm a reseller, I have every day off. <laughs> well, I work almost every day, but I don't have to go into an office that is closed on holidays. My business is open 24 seven. The reason why I don't like the holidays is because um, shipping cannot ship that day so I can't get my packages out to my customers I have about 10 packages waiting to be mailed they will go out tomorrow another thing is on managed payments for eBay you don't get paid that day so and sometimes it delays your payments up to two days so we didn't even know it was a holiday until our neighbors told us yeah because since we're at home right now working um, we don't really pay attention to the holidays it's a friend of me it was of course Christmas and you know, but this President's Great Day, great. I love celebrating the presidents. Uh, but I don't have little kids in school anymore. My kids are all grown and um, don't go to school. So yeah, I know it's great for all your parents. Well, I don't know if it's great for the parents when the kids are at home bugging them, but uh, yeah, it's good for people for vacations and to get day off from work and that's awesome. But of course the banks are closed and all the federal institutions are closed. So that's okay, it's just one day, a day out of the life as the Beatles, the Beatles say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take this little tour around my office and I'm going to hopefully give you some helpful ideas on inventory. Okay, the first thing I want to show you, these are my drawers. I got this unit at a thrift store for $15. So I store all my small items in here because I used to put them in the regular bins and they'd get lost, so now I just store them all together. And this is rack one, even though I have one rack. I just called it a rack because it's on a rack. And just some more inventory I have stored in there. I just kind of store it where I can. This I did for the cats, but they haven't slept in there yet. But Oliver likes sleeping up here. Yes. Uh, he used to get in my caps. That's what this is, my cap bin. And he'd get hair all over him, so I put a blanket up there for him, and he loves it. Okay. So these are my shelving units where I store everything. As you can see, it's kind of haphazard. But I have lots, some of my caps I have in plastic, but not all of them. And that's become my cat bin and my cat's bed. Hi, buddy. There he is. Um, all right. So then as you can see, it's overflowing, but this is my women's clothes that have labeled. I do recommend that you label your bins if you have bins like this. Again, they're overflowing. 
this one I labeled because I have a couple of black pairs of pants I'm selling and I wanted, I didn't want to have to take it out of the bag to look at it, so. And then this is how I label this stuff. And this is Overflow, kind of some helmets and miscellaneous clothes. There's a hat. These are the men's clothes that I have labeled. And yes, I have quite a bit of clothes I've listed. I've sold some, but still have a lot. Lately, I've been listing clothes because it's what I had. All right, because I have dormered ceilings, this is, I have to store everything on the top. And I make sure it's things that I could actually look at. This is a pennant um, that I could just eyeball it and see it because I used to have things up here that were kind of like, oh, I couldn't find it. So I pretty much can just see it with a glance. And again, if I didn't have dormer ceilings, I'd have so much more room to store, but I don't. So I just work with what I have. Okay, so then I just decided to label 2A, 2B. So you can see my bins are pretty full because I have over a thousand items in inventory. And what I did here, there's no 2C. I just made this for baby and kids and bedding and drapery. So that's how I did it. And I store things on the sides, as you can see. And I put that in my inventory tracker and I just say they're on the side. So this is a kid I'm selling. Most of my bins, oops, are see-through. So for these, I already had them. So I just put them in here. Again, this stuff is pretty packed to the gills. Obviously, when I sell stuff, it, you know, I get room again. All right, these are breakables. I just happen to be storing all my breakables there, so I just decided to call it breakables. So I know where to look. And I put that on my inventory tracker breakables. So 4A, let's see, I have storage stuff on the side. These are breakables and mugs because I wanted a place for all my mugs. And then I just decided to store other breakables with the mugs. And this is for C. Sorry about my fingers, guys. Using my phone. All right, so then I had two of these bins and they're on wheels, so it's kind of nice. Just pull it out. Obviously, I have more things on the side, too. Can't wait to sell that. This is Space Saver Coffee Maker. I will eventually. And then I got 5A. That's overflowing. Um, 5B. Yes, these are all filled with the gills. 5C. And then the overflow, of course, on the sides. All right, this area is kind of a mess. This is my plush, blanket, throws, quilts, and pillows area. I did, I've reorganized this area several times, but it's just a small area between the two shelving units so it just gets messy as i list stuff and i just need to reorganize it again as you can see see those are some pillows this is my shoe area uh i can actually find things pretty well this way and then this is my tennis rackets and golf clubs i'm not going to sell golf clubs anymore i really don't like selling them i don't like taking pictures i don't pack i like packing them tennis rackets are okay i don't mind those all right, then we got the cat's chair. You can see there's cat hair. Well, it's kind of worn because they sleep on it. This is my dress form, which I always call my dress forms Betsy. I don't know why, <laughs> just like that name. Uh, this is my lamp for when I took pictures of clothing. And then um, this is my purse area. It's miscellaneous, like small purses. I have scarves up there, um, obviously just I try to make it like small, medium to large, but it's kind of a mishmash. And then those are like backpacks and totes on the bottom. And it's kind of an organized mess. I, I know where everything is. <laughs> Wallets. All right, then this is my box area, which is actually pretty organized right now. I'm trying to find my 
myself last time I showed you guys it was not organized well. All right, this is where, oh, my good picture. Oh, you got the glare from the window. But this is where I take pictures. This is my, um, I made, I took this sheet and I put hooks on it and I hook it over here. I take this off and then I either hang a hanger for men's clothes and take pictures that way, or I use my dress form against there. And then I also do my measurements there too. So then what I did is I printed out these little sheets on my computer on scratch paper. And I just write down the item and I do, you know, the measurements. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then I use this if I need to get lint off things, scissors, they have these little arrows. So if I find a stain or holes, I could point it out. And that's how I do that. I don't list things with a lot of stains or holes, but if they're minimal, I do. And that's my lamp, my little pixel, Pixar lamp. <laughs> Guess remember the cartoon, the lamp. pretty old but okay and this is a file cabinet I got on Facebook marketplace uh, about a month ago and so if you guys need storage look on Facebook marketplace got it for 10 bucks from a lady down the street from me I do ties and belts so there's all of those and so now I know where to find that stuff bras because I've been selling a lot of bras lately and I really enjoy selling those and then these are just miscellaneous with poly bags, different sizes. I know it looks like a mess, but I pretty much know what's in there. And then this last one is just my big poly bags to ship big items. And then I have some of my prime. If you guys haven't been doing this, you need to. If you get things for Amazon in these envelopes, save them. I didn't used to. I used to throw them away and then buy my own packaging. I'm like, what am I doing? I need to use these, so I use these constantly for eBay and whatever. I got these on eBay with my coupon. You guys should be getting your quarterly coupons, 20, uh, $25 coupons from eBay. If you have a basic store and above, you don't get them with starter stores or if you don't have a store. But yes, make sure you use yours before they expire. I've gotten these, I've gotten tape and they're great. This is the tape I get from eBay. Looks like this. And they also have it in black and white, but I like the colors. And this is my little shipping station. See, I have them on two of these guns. I don't know what you call them, tape guns, or <laughs> I don't know what they are. Um, and then I have different ones. I have the regular, I have, I have regular tape, and I have brown tape to cover up like labels, and I have eBay. And this just my miscellaneous. See, I keep more of these just to reuse them. So I hope you guys are reusing packaging. Anyway, then this is another, um, my messy listed items. This is six. And then this is just like overflow. You need to list in the trash can again. And then the table has overflow of things I've listed. And then there's my other cat. That's the first time he slept in there. It's so funny. I used to have that full of clothes, but I've listed them all. My, um, I kind of combine this. It's use, multiple uses. A cat. <laughs> Peanuts. Unicorn. No, that's a light. I just listed again. There's more things I've listed. Now, these are for pictures. And you guys just use, go to the thrift store. Use what you have around your house. Use a sheet. It's a shower curtain. This is a tablecloth. This is just fabric. And I've washed them. And what I'm using now is a sheet. So you don't have to go fancy with uh, with your background for pictures. Just use sheets or tablecloths or material, whatever. I use white for most of my items. And I also use a background remover. But if it's a black, if it's a white item, take a picture on a black background, which that's just like a curtain that I got at a thrift store. So don't have to spend a lot of money on that kind of thing. These are clamp lights I got at Goodwill for pictures, obviously. 
Um, come on, turn off. Okay, this is my bubble wrap. I just put it in a trash can. I bought it at a thrift store. That's for hats. That I found at Goodwill for uh, necklaces. That's my miscellaneous. I showed you guys this before, cleaning supplies. I had this picture here, but I needed this space for pictures when an item is tall, so I just left it over there. That's my listed. This is to be listed. All of this was in here. See you guys, I'm low on inventory. So everything that was in this cabinet is now here. A lot of smalls and miscellaneous. Just stuff my parents gave me and I've just accumulated. I've had them for a couple years. Um, this is just the signs. My neighbor, my neighbors moved out and they gave me these signs to list that they didn't need. So I got a lot of free um, inventory to list. So that was nice. And then this is where I put the items I've taken pictures of that I haven't listed yet, but I'm going to list. And then that's just my paper and labels and that scratch paper down there. And that's just for, okay, so. I have these for FedEx and UPS, and it's this painter's tape. So I used to put the FedEx and UPS in with the USPS, and then John and I would forget, and we'd take them to USPS, and they give them back, say, oh no, this is UPS or FedEx. So now I put this on the package, either FedEx or UPS, with the painter's tape, so it doesn't adhere to the package, and I put it in a separate bag, and that way it reminds us that we have to go to either FedEx or UPS, or we have actually have a shipping building here called Worldwide Shipping, and they do UPS and FedEx. So that's the way I had to do it, because I can't rely on my memory. These are just my pictures. I made it kind of tropical. This is just miscellaneous bills and other things. My Groot, bulletin board, my C for Cindy, the beach is happy place. So there you go. Okay, so you guys got, got an idea what my inventory system is like. Now, other things that you could do is eBay has a custom SKU area on the listings. You are welcome to put your custom SKU in there. Like, let's say I had mine in bin 2A. You could put bin 2A. I've never used it and I don't want to try and get in the habit because I'm afraid that I'm not going to do it and then I won't know where the item is. And it's really, really frustrating. This happened to me many, many times where uh, the item that I sold was in a bin or on a shelf and it wasn't on my inventory tracker. So I had to look in every single one and very frustrating, especially when let's say it's in bin 5C and I start in 2A <laughs> and I find at the very end, that's happened before, I've looked in all the bins and it's the last one. Now, of course, other times it's, I find it right away. But most of the time the things are on my tracker, but sometimes they get deleted or they're not put on there or whatever. Another thing I wanna make you guys aware of is a glitch that eBay has where, it's very frustrating, where you will sell an item on eBay and they will put it back in your store and I'll sell again. And then this has happened to me where I thought it was my fault. I thought, oh no, I sold on another platform and I didn't take it off eBay. Um, and then I have to apologize to the customer and say, I'm so sorry, I can't find my item. I have to cancel your order. Thinking it's my fault that I lost the item or I sold it previously, but it's a glitch that eBay has admitted to and um, I'm so looking forward to them fixing that. It's very, very frustrating. So now that I'm aware of it, I usually just chalk it up to that um, because sometimes I remember that I sold the item, but sometimes I don't, like it was months earlier and I was beating myself up thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not keeping good track. I'm not taking things off eBay that I sell on like Mercari Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace, which I try to be very good about that. But of course I'm not perfect, so it happens. But just so you guys know that I hope that this is taken care of, it's not happening anymore, but it does happen where, you know, you sell an item through eBay and some kind of glitch, a relist is your, relist your item and it sells again. And of course you don't have the item unless you have multiples of that item, which I rarely do. Sometimes I have multiples, like I have this book, Chicago Cubs book that John bought 10 of during the pandemic at a grocery store. 
because we had to source somewhere and it's been the bane of my existence. It's been taking forever to sell these books and now I'm down to two, thank God. Uh, but they sold over Christmas on Facebook Marketplace. I sold like three of them, but I have two more. So if you guys want a Sh Chicago Cubs kids children's book, it's a really cute book, but I would imagine only Chicago Cub fans would want it, <laughs> which John is. Uh, anyway, you hey, see uh, my cat just got up there. He, Sparta, just got up in that basket. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is slow sales. So I mentioned this before on my channel and uh, December, January, I had tons of sales. I'm actually up to where I've never been before. I'm at 6,300 for three months. Um, it's amazing, I'm very happy. Uh, but in February, my sales slowed down, which has happened to a lot of resellers. I've watched a lot of reselling videos and it's kind of like it's hit everybody, even the people that sell like 10 items, 10 items a day. Well, it has picked up for me because I'm a very consistent lister. I list five to 10 items every day or at least six days a week in my store. So that's why I keep getting sales and my sales have increased. Um, they're only up to maybe two to three, uh, two to four a day, but that's okay. I'll take it. Um, I'm very happy with them. I mean, I do say that, but I want more. <laughs> but what I wanted to tell you is whether your sales are slow or not, have a great attitude. Attitude is everything. Um, you know, I was getting down a little while and I vent to my husband, to my lovely Johnny. Uh, I said, oh, it's so hard, my sales are slow. And he goes, well, every time you say that, they pick up and he's right. But it's just an initial vent. But I really, I just have a great outlook. Overall, I'm a sunny person. I'm the glass half full person. Um, so I know it's gonna pick up and they have picked up. Maybe not to the point where they were around Christmas. Well, of course they're not going to because that was Christmas. But um, I'm still gonna continue to list constantly every day or almost every day and just keep a good attitude good outlook and they're coming back so don't i know you can you could be like me and do the initial vent or complain um but then move on you know brush it aside oh well hey look at it as a challenge well okay so i'm going to challenge myself to list more maybe list 20 a day and that's gonna be what it takes but consistently list. Don't let this get you down and don't let it um, make you stop listing because then your sales are gonna really tank. <laughs> so just keep a good attitude. Keep, you know, just be um, positive. That's that's one I wanted to put across to you guys. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please send me a like, share my content. Um, send me a comment. So uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you like this content, if this helped you. I really hope it did. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. Okay, a couple more things I wanted to share with you guys. I forgot to share. Uh, one is if you ship jewelry or you sell jewelry, get um, boxes like this. So where I get these is like thrift stores or if I bought, you know, a piece of jewelry, I just save whatever it came in. Like Amazon, sometimes I'll get something. Or somebody sent me a gift. Um, or I sent John, a, I gave John a gift for like Christmas and they came in these boxes. So I always save these because I do sell jewelry, not a lot of jewelry, but I do sell it sometimes. So I like to, like if it's earrings or necklace or bracelet, whatever, I like to put it in the box and then I'll put it in like uh, plastic and then I'll put it in a you know bubble wrap and that's how I ship it. So just a tip you guys, if you come across um, those boxes or bags for jewelry, save them. I mean, if you sell jewelry. <laughs> the other thing is I got to over a thousand listings. I'm so proud of myself. I mean, I've been selling 20 years and this first time I've been up to a thousand and now I'm about a thousand and two. But that's been like a dream and that's been like um, something I've been shooting for. So I want to encourage you guys to have goals like that. Like if you're just starting out, you know, the first goal would be maybe 50 items, then 100 and then, you know, work from there. What if your goal is, 
you know, just work towards that goal. I wasn't like sweating in. I wasn't like going, okay, by this date, I have to make a thousand. I just knew I would get there because I've been listing, like I said, five to 10 items at least a day. So of course that accumulates. And I've had a lot of sales that, you know, so you have sales, so it goes down, and then you list more. So I'm sure I'll go down below a thousand again with sales. But I am just so proud of myself to get to a thousand. I mean, I guess the next goal would be 1500. Um, I didn't really think I'd get there. It's amazing that I have more than a thousand items in this office because I have another ID where I have like 250 items. So uh, yeah, but a lot of them are small and easy to store. So um, yeah, you guys set goals and just don't stress out, but just you know know you're gonna make them and just keep at it be consistent ebay is all about consistency so the more you're consistent with your listings and obviously shipping on time and just providing the best customer service and packing the best as you can um you're gonna go far so just want to share those two tips with you guys i'll see you next time